Welcome. Episode 49. 49. We didn't have to look oh, this time. No. We did that behind the scenes. Yeah. <laughs> Thunder out there. It knows this show it is knows coming. episode 20 is it's here. struck lightning. No, welcome. Episode 23. Episode 23. Urch Weekly. No. Urch Weekly. No. It's the All Char C Hobby Show. Everyone knows that. It's Aaron. He's Chris. So welcome to episode 49. What are we talking about tonight, Chris? Uh, we did some soldering on the MFO1X. Do you have some build footage from that maybe too? I don't know if I have any left. We'll have to see. Weak. Yeah. We ripped some UDRs around. We did. And we have a little bit of a, a tutorial on two-wheel drive transmission cases for, for some slashes. So I guess let's just get right into it. So, we went running. Or, yeah, we drove the EDRs. Yeah. Finally got yours fixed. Yeah. Took them on the alley. Yeah. And there was even snow on the ground. There was snow. It was pretty awesome. Yeah, you got to try out the paddles on mine. Yeah, I almost took you out. Yeah. Numerous amounts of times. I mean, like, drove right into them. But, I will say, those paddles are pretty awesome. Yeah. Definitely worth it. And we actually had snow on the ground, too. Too bad it was so cold. Yeah. That's been our issue. Like... It's hard to get out and drive trucks when it's that cold though sometimes. I know, but yeah, we have an idea. So we'll first show you the UDR running videos first, and uh, we'll, get, we'll get into some of the other stuff later. So, uh, I finished up Kevin's build last night. I brought it in today to finish up the soldering. So, here's some motor soldering. Yeah. I was the camera guy, and yeah. I was totally in his way, and he elbowed me twice. So, they were good like, elbows, it, was, it was a hard life for the camera guy, so if it's not good footage, it's all his fault. True. Okay, just make, make sure I was like, disclaimer. It's my fault. <laughs> here, you're here with Chris. And what, what, what you working on today, Chris? We're uh, soldering up the motor on Kevin Locke's MF01X. We're putting the 10 and a half turn hobby wing in there. So I thought this was going to be brushed. Ooh, that's what I thought too. Someone gave me the, someone gave me the go ahead to throw in a brush. So we're going to solder on some, some wires here. I think you meant brushless. True. <laughs> True. So rocking the uh, Toro. Let's see if it'll focus. Toro TS50 sensor DSC, and you said a Hobbywing 10.5 just stock? Yes, sir. Nice. Censored and everything. Nice. This should be a pretty nice little system for this little truck. It's going to be quick. I mean, it's going to be quickly smooth. Yes. So I really like that. So we're going to watch Chris solder. So what, so what are you doing here, Deaver? First, I'm going to heat up the bullet and sink some solder into there. Yeah, just on that motor pad. Yeah, exactly. And I'm gonna put a little bit of solder on my just the tip iron, just the tip. And then I'm gonna bring the wire all the way over here. This is gonna be the hardest one because I'm trying not to burn my hands. You're trying to burn your hands, and I'm trying to get a good shot here. And so then I'm gonna set we're this kind of on like here. intertwined hands. I'm gonna heat that up. We're doing the wine drinking challenge. <laughs> hands then, interlocked and everything. You want everything to soak in? I can see it starting to soak into the wire and everything. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Just like that. It's a nice, clean solder job there. So Chris is on point. It'll be smooth. It's my car. Perfection. You always gotta That's put a battery end on it and give it a test drive. I love it, I love it. So we had a, a two-wheel drive Rustler transmission come into the shop uh, and it was, it, it was a little bit uh, beat up and we had some issues with it. So we're just going to give you a quick walkthrough on things that we do and things to watch out for on the two-wheel drive transmission case from Traxxas. So Slash, Stampede, Rustler, Bandit, any one of the following, doesn't matter if it's brushed or brushless, they all kind of have the same issues. And we've seen this enough times oh, yeah. that we kind of thought it was a good idea to make this video 
and kind of show you things that we see uh, as a common issue and, and things that people commonly do. Um, so the, hopefully this helps some people out. Um, and yeah, don't have this issue with brake and transmission cases. Okay, so we got a, a two-wheel drive uh, Rustler transmission come in here uh, to the shop this week. Uh, and there's just a couple things I want to touch base on uh, regarding screw lengths and a couple other things with this uh, two-wheel drive transmission housing. So when we look at the manual here, um, we have a couple different length of screws um, and you really got to pay attention to this um, just because like your main screws on the housing on the tops, uh, top three and the L3 is what I call them, are your uh, three by 23. But the biggest ones you got to watch out for is right at the front at the top of the case. So this screw right there. Uh, is uh, only a 3 by 20 millimeter screw, not a 3 by 23 like the majority of the case. Another thing to watch out for is this screw here in the middle is a 3 by 30. So you got to be really careful when you're installing these um, just because what you can do is you can see we put a 3 by 20 through screw uh, in this top hole instead of a 3 by 20. So now we actually have some exposed thread through the transmission case. So this is something you want to watch out for. Definitely want to use the wrong screw. Plus here at the bottom, uh, we also used a three by probably 23 mil screw um, instead of the, or sorry. Yeah, it looks like we probably used a three by 30 screw actually on the bottom here, because you can see it trying to pop through the case. But really this screw hole here should be our three by 30 and this one should be our three by 23. Uh, next thing up that I kind of want to talk about is this right here. So a lot of people aren't really sure why they have a piece of tape covering um, the bottom gear here. And really what it's for is when it's attached to the chassis. So when it's sitting right here on the chassis, um, there really isn't anything sealing this part off from that bottom chassis. So if your screws ever loosened off, this could actually float on the chassis uh, and debris can get in here uh, and actually get inside your transmission housing. So that's definitely something you wanna reinstall, make sure you clean it really good with some brake clean, some simple green, something to take any grease or material off that case that wouldn't allow a piece of small duct tape, electrical tape, something to stick on there just so you don't get um, anything inside this planetary. And one last thing that we kind of want to talk about uh, is just uh, figuring out uh, how to take stuff apart and, and figuring out, you know, what's going to be your best way for putting screws aside. Um, like, I mean, in this case, um, we're probably going to reuse it, but I mean, we could have an issue now with this screw um, since it's popping through the case if it ever loosened off. Now this screw here is going to have material coming into the case with uh, debris and things like that. So you kind of got to watch out. Um, it's just a tip um, for people that want to take their screws apart. Always make sure you check out the manual. Traxxas does a really good job giving us an awesome manual and giving us all our screws, everything that we need to know. Just make sure if you're not sure, reference back to this manual um, and go from there. Well, that was episode 49 of the Ultra C Hobby Show. What? You said Ultra C Hobby Show. Did I? Yeah. Oh, it's been a long day. It has been a long day. Okay, so... Well, that was episode 49. Of the Ultra RC Hobby Show. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to share with all your friends on Facebook. Check us out on Instagram. Ultra RC Hobbies. Check us out on Snapchat. Ultra RC Hobbies. Don't forget to check him out at RC Deebs on YouTube and Instagram. And Facebook. And Facebook. Yeah. And don't forget to check out our website, www.ultrarchobbies.com. Dot com. Dot com. Dot com. I didn't follow you on that one. So. I know. It's kind of weird. But uh, anyway, this is episode 49. Next week is episode 50. The big 5-0. We're going to give some stuff away. And we have lots of cool prizes to give away. Lots of awesome stuff. So I want to thank uh, Jason from... Hobby Wing. Mm -hmm. He gave us a couple shirts. Uh, we got a couple Power HD shirts. We have a Techno shirt. Uh, and we have some other stuff that I can't say because I don't want to give it all away yet. Um, so you got to make sure you check out episode 50 um, to see everything that we're going to be giving away for our big episode 50 giveaway. So until next time, thank you for watching. Thank you. See you on the next one.